Right folks, I'm just leaving this little tiny copse area and um, over there I reckon I've picked up, there's a lovely view so I took some pictures and I, I think that tree sticking out is the big tree on top of Banwell Hill Fort. I'm totally convinced it is. I'm so familiar with that area. Um, it's a lovely view as well. I got some. I took some pictures of Flash as well of that. What a lovely view that is. I've got. That's what I said. I love coming out. You know. I'd hate you to have missed today, and it'd be nice to be greeted by the sun on the colder part of the walk, where I've got to go down and face more wind and stuff, possibly. So anyway, we're walking up this little bridle path now, and. Uh, Going into a big field where there's a copse in one corner of it. There's a farm that wasn't long sold. And then there's the great big posh house that owned the side orchards. Don't know who they are or anything. Ground's still quite hard here, look. Which is good, isn't it? So it's not slushy. Lots of horse hoofs here, look. Like I said, I don't know if there's going to be a pack of horses up here. It is a pack of horses as well, isn't it? Flock of sheep, herd of cows, pack of, pack of dogs. It's not, what is it? Is it a pack of horses? Um, what you call a load of horses together? Could be a herd still, I suppose. You know, you get pack horses. This is an old root mine. I mean, look at the stonework there. I expect the farmers over the years have lifted some of them to make it easier for their vehicles. But this is an old... This is an old route. This has been used for a long time. A type of drove. Leading us across the countryside, everyone. Because we've got to remember, but just back there, which I didn't point out, is the West Mendip Way. When I came up the bumpy track, that was the West Mendip Way. And then it, it, when I go to do Crook's Peak, not too long, I'll be, uh, if I go that way or come back, either way, I'll be going that way. <laughs> I think I'm going to do it from Winscombe this time. I do like all my local walks and I've still got cheddar to do. Now I've deliberately left cheddar for it to slightly warm up. Um, this that will be the most risky of my walks. Not because of the walk but because of the reliability of a bus service. Because there are no buses Apart from buses that you'd have to pay for, which I would have to do if I had to get the 92 or whatever it's called. Right folks, look! Electric fencing and cows! But they put electric fence up. Somebody's been taking notice, folks. And a new gate! Because this this is part of the West Mendip Way as well, I suppose, and a tributary of it. Well, I've got this on video. They've actually put up a fence. There's big bales of hay and I can also see cows scattered amongst them. I don't know if the sun's in my face, but uh, there's the cops. Here's these massive bales. I think they put them out and what they probably do every now and again, they break the bales open for the cows to eat. Do you know what I mean? That's food. They got, I don't know how long one of those bells was lost, would um, last with the herd. I suppose that's what they do, just break one open for them. Now look at that view there, down there, look at that. Look right down there folks, there's um, Steep Home. That's Steep Home, which I've been on of course in 2012. And then we go over a bit, we've got the back of Breen down. 
can never get bored of my local walks, you know. And then if we just zoom around a bit, you've got Whirl, the Whirl part of Western Supermare there. Yeah. It's beautiful, isn't it? I love all this, you know. Uh, there's a cow putting on a bit of speed, but I'm hoping this fence is electric. Um, <clears throat> yeah, they must have been thinking of the walkers then. I mean, people do get killed by cows, you see. You know, they do. I'm going to take some, stop and take some photos in a minute when I get closer to these bells. So, but just to reassure you that they they are acknowledging walkers, or they don't want they want them to eat all the grass here. In fact, they haven't they can't get in this bit yet. The cows, I don't think. The electric fence is they'll make them eat all that, and then they'll have to uh, look at that view. Look at that view, everyone. Over there, isn't it gorgeous? I've got to zoom in because the camera's not as good as my eyes, mate. It's bloody gorgeous, isn't it? Yes, well, I came through the gate there. We do like a little sweep round. And right over there, we've got the hill fort, of course. Robbery Woods, where I walk a lot. Over the other side, the sand bay, of course. I can see with the naked eye the lighthouse um, flat home. Yeah, some of these cows are called panda cows. but they're supposed to be quite vicious. Anyway, what I want to do, I just want to take a picture of the bells. Over and out a minute. Right then. Beautiful views, beautiful skies, everyone. And there's the cows over there listening in. They've been over here munching. They've not long been moved over. They just keep moving the fence. Cows have had loads over there as well. But they've got a nice, nice big patch further down to eat yet. I don't know what happens to them after that. But the farmers, like I said, are keeping them out longer. Keeping them out longer. It saves on uh, indoor hay and all that while they can eat the grass. And they've got all that other stuff they can eat. Yeah, and there's a, that farm was up, was probably sold now. And there's Western over there. Look, I'll just zoom in again. Western Supermare, where I live now. Looking nice and white. And of course, they're trying to pinch more of the wood. Some would pay a good price to get on top of that, won't they? Some have already done it. They won't stop them. They're, play, they're using archaeology as the excuse. We all know they got private agendas. It's obvious, isn't it? Money talks. Power and control talk. And that's an Iron Age hill for it. Well, some say, well, at least it'd be protected if they build on it. It's true. It is true, but they said the archaeologists want to expose it all so it can be seen. Right, I love this field. I love it. There's my lovely Brent Knoll over there, which I don't do every year as a climb. I don't do it every year, but it's shrouded in the mist there. I sometimes do it in reverse, which means I would go to Limption on the bus and then walk up one side. Once again, they have cows up there, so you, you, you have to sort of pace yourself with these winter walks. Because they do still put cows out, by the way. Because it is, to be quite honest, it is quite mild, really. I mean, this isn't thick snow or... Do you know what I mean? This is... I know I've dressed up. When you're waiting at a bus stop, you will get cold. If you sit in your lounge without your fire on, you will get cold in the winter. And as you get older, you feel it more. I'm not saying young people don't feel it. Of course they do. But uh, and, uh, old people like me who move about. Oh, new gate. Oh, they are being kind to us, aren't they? Where's that lovely old gate gone that I used to like? Now, I've got 
pictures of this place with the old stuff as well. Do you know what I mean? I've still got the history of this place in lots of different ways. So that's an electric fence. And quite often in the spring, you'll get all the dandelions and big puffy white clouds. Um, there's an easy jet over there. And, and I just sometimes just like stand in here, especially when the dandelions are out. Of course, there's fields over there. There is a trig point over there, but you're not, it isn't really supposed to be open to the public that way, okay? Here's a big old pole. Look, this has been here for a while off the old gate post. Look, look at the solidness of that. It's an old railway sleeper by the look of it, isn't it? Now, but you can walk up there, go through a gate, and the trig point's not far, just over there on the corner. And I have done all that before, and I've walked all the way down. But you must be careful on private land, in case there's dogs loose. You really have to be careful. And I was followed by a very angry cow once. So I've done it. I might just occasionally just think, oh, I'll just nip over to the trick point. And I have done that because the views are fantastic. I'm not doing that today. I'm being very conservative today, just doing the basic circular walk. And I'm enjoying every minute of it. Look at that lovely Brent Knoll there. I can hear the motorway. I don't know if it picks up on the camera, but it's like um constant humming noise or, or almost like a train as well the noise that I can hear with with the naked ear with the naked ear look at that lovely view I'm gonna stop and take a picture